Hey, so welcome into Astro Berlin. Yeah, this is very unrelated to astronomy, uh, directly anyway. Yeah, I have been uh, well building my Lucid Mount. Uh, it's uh, built on the TNC controller. Yeah, that's the one that runs the VLDC motors and uh, interface you with the mount, etc. Uh, but um, uh, I've been having my eyes on this Arduino's Portenta H7. Yeah, um, seemed like a um, um, spec-packed thing. Yeah, as the Arduino's Pro series. So. And like dual core, I'm not going to list all the things, it's got packing a bunch. So, got that one a few days ago. Also, got a little <coughs> carry board. Um, I printed a little like back plate for it so it won't let, sit on the table short out. Uh, also, soldered in some, some pin out for it. It's got the high density connectors, the two 80 pins that basically clips onto the um, Portenta boards. Similar pins, yes. Yes, uh, got a 5 volt plugged in so you can power it from there. Um, ah, that's it. So I thought I'd test this out. And the first thing I did was to test the thing that matters the most, and that is the PVM. Yeah, it's got this one on the, with the headers here. You get access to seven um, like default PVM pins. So I thought, that's great. I only need six. Awesome. Let's go. Um, and um, yeah, so I. Testing this out. Use a wristband if you're handling this. I mean, you won't tell them what's wrong if you don't. Anyway, so um, yeah, um, I tested this out. We're going to take a look. Uh, spoiler alert: uh, I usually do these things when I have issues and is unhappy about things, so you won't be surprised. Yeah. Okay, so I've had some issues with the Portenta H7 from Arduino here. I'll take a look. Um, so, um, I am using. Take a look here. So I'm using. Um, I've got the Portenta board, and I also got the uh, breakout board. Yeah. And uh, so I'm trying to use uh, the PBM to run some VLDC motors. Got two motors, so I need in total six PVM outputs. <coughs> and this is fine because we have seven on the Portenta board here. Um, on the breakout board you have up to um, ten <coughs> um, PVM ports ported out through the, the high density pins or connectors. Anyway, but I was I thought I'd just start here, so I put a header on with um, uh, 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 sockets, so I can access it with a little wire. And I basically just did a, a version of the program I have right now, and I'm just trying to write a d analog write to these three pins, yeah, and it worked fine. <coughs> um, then I tried to do the same to find another port, and I did. D3, D4, and D5, and I completely lost the zero port and could not attach to it again, and the output didn't work. Also, the port hand I went into a some kind of panic mode where it flashed the red LED LED on the board, like four slow uh, pulses and um, uh, four short pulses, repeatedly. Uh, so I had to manually put it in bootloader mode to be able to make it work. And uh, uh, that was a bit disturbing. Uh, so I basically moved back to D0, 1 and 2 and it worked fine. Then I started skipping so I went and instead used D4, D5 and D6. <coughs> and then it worked. Yeah. So, great. Yeah, but it's not all um, good story because we're going to take a look at the actual PVM output as it is right now. Yeah. Um, so we're going to move our attention towards the oscilloscope where I have um, <coughs> PVM is running on D0, 1, and 2, 4, 5, and 6. So we're going to take a look at D0, 
zero first here. That is um, pH 15 on the portenta. Yep, and here we can see a nice PVM pulse. Yeah, looking good. Moving down to digital one or PK one on the portenta. Hmm. Not very good. No. Let's move on to digital two or PJ eleven. That looks all right. Yeah. Stable. They're not the same because I'm using analog right and I'm having different different uh, outputs to all the to the faces here. So skipping D3 since that it makes everything um, be sad. I'm going down to D4, which is PC7 on the portenta. That looks all right. Yeah. D5 looks okay. And D6. That's not okay. All right. So, what is going on right now? I have my portenta uh, attached to the uh, uh, breakout board, the carrier board, and um, that one has five volts to the uh, the five volt input terminal. Yeah. But if I unplug that five volts, it makes no difference whatsoever. However, if I unplug the USB-C port on the portenta, voila, it's all nice. So this is D6 or PVM or PA8 on the um, on the portenta. Going back again, reverse order to D5, looking good. D4, looking good. Uh, D uh, d d d two then I guess yeah two also good D one is also good that was the one that was bad before as well yeah then back to D zero yeah so if you're going to D one that was have that disturbance on it plug the USB C port back in and there we go <coughs> I got our disturbance back yes. So it seems to be like those three pins, um, digital 1, PK1, uh, digital 3, PG7, and digital 6, PA8, all are in some way connected to the USB-C port. <coughs> and that makes that means that if you run, um, run the PVM on that, either it makes the USB port uh, bug out completely, like if you run PVM on... Uh, um, digital 3 or PJ PG7 like here we can see on the data sheet of the um, portenta that uh, PG7 is sharing it with like video and some other functionality or if you have the USB port plugged in and try to run the PVM on digital 1 or digital 6 it also makes it all go bad <coughs> yeah so that is a bit um, worrying yeah so if we have a look at that, this is how my board looks like. That's it, the carry board. Uh, I just got my oscilloscope probes plugged into the headers there. Um, yeah, that's it. Also, um, when I look at the uh, the actual outputs that we have here, because <laughs> we can see here that digital zero there is supposed to be PVM7. And digital 1 is PVM6, 2 is 5, digital 3 is 4, 4 is 3, 5 is 2, and digital 6 is PVM1. Right. <coughs> now, yeah, if we take a look at um, this, the uh, this is the well, latest and greatest accordingly. Uh, if we take a look on this um, diagram, this is the PCB layout here in layers. And if we take a look at this is D5, yeah, on the pinout. Now that was supposed to be connected to <coughs> PVM2. According to this, the net name is PVM1. 
And if we move up and do the four, it's PVM two. PVM three, two. Oh, that's PVM four, sorry. PVM five, PVM six, and that's not PVM anymore. So PVM six is what we have there on pin number nine. Now, according to this sheet, <coughs> That is supposed to be um, PVM7. Yeah, so a little um, discrepancy there. So that is 6 to 1 according to the netlist. And this <coughs> um, digital 6 is going to PVM1 according to that pinout. But according to this list, it's going to PVM0. Yes. So, what? Which one is which? Or correct? Don't know. Another thing uh, on the subject of um, lists and stuff. This, the breakout board. Very nice to have. Get access to all the pins, etc. If we take a look at the, the layout here, uh, on this supposed to be the latest and greatest. You have the PVM and the analog ports here. Um, I would like them to be more separated, but anyway, um, that starts from 0 to 9 here, and analog 0 to 7. Yeah. Now, according to my, my board, let me see if I can look at this. This I bought about two weeks ago, it, uh, a week ago, and it's now the 25th, so uh, it's not that old, but it's straight from the Arduino store. And here we can see that we have ground, and then it's from PVM9 down to PVM0, so it's reversed order. And we can't really see that, but the analog pins, as you can see, starts the same, starts from 0, going up to 7. Yeah, and it's the opposite as we had on the uh, <coughs> on the uh, layout or the uh, design on the Arduino site. The ref uh, N and P is correct, but it's just the order of pins there that's a bit messed up. I don't know about the others. They looked all right when I had a quick glance, but I haven't looked all into them. Yeah. So that is it. Yeah. Uh, think yeah the PVM is a bit of a worry really um, because that means it's hard to say if we can actually use that <coughs> as it stands right now yeah since I want to have a USB port plugged in to be able to use it <coughs> and flash the firmware uh, unless I can have it through Wi-Fi or something but I want to power the board and have a communications through the USB and it seems to be an issue now if it's like this. Point.